Hi guys, welcome back to Haven's House Plants. I haven't made a video in a few weeks. I've been super busy with work, but things are finally slowing down. And I have found some cute plants at work. So one of them is an alocasia poly, and I'll show you guys in a little bit here. Um, but one of the number one things that I like to do when I get new alocasias is check and see if they are in um, the little root pods. So when they start alocasia bulbs, they usually have them in those little seed starters. And those mesh nets can really um, choke up the root system and make it a lot harder for them to grow nice and big and full. And one of the reasons that I usually notice if they have them in those or not is if the leaves start to brown and die. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. So this alocasia right here, I'm blanking on the name, but I will um, look it up in my journal and put it on the screen. So with this plant, I started to notice that it was leaning forward and not really growing straight up as much. As you can tell, it kind of has this lean to it. So I'm thinking that it just needs some more root space because this, this pot is pretty small. So I'm going to be repotting him from this terracotta into this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go around the edge of the pot and try to loosen up this soil so that none of these roots get broken when I pull him out. Let's see what it looks like here. You can just kind of slowly pull him out. Oh yeah, so as you can see, his root system is pretty nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and shake this dirt. I just um, potted him up about two months ago, so I'm surprised he already needs a new pot, but this was one of the ones that were in one of those little pods, and he was super choked up and he was ready to grow, so once I gave him what he was looking for, he took off for me, and he's already ready for another size up. So I'm just going to go ahead and set him in the center like this. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and fill in around this guy. I like to try and wait when my plants are ready for a repot. I like to try and wait until the soil is dry just because it's so much easier to get them out of the pot that they're currently in, especially if the roots are super bound up and snug in there because with the wet soil it just kind of compacts everything and then it's like you're fighting the root system and you might break something. I always like to tuck a little bit just so that it can stand upright. Not too tight, don't pack it down in there too tight and then just fill it with a little bit more. And then another thing that you can do is go ahead and water it and that's gonna help it adjust to sitting into this new pot as well. Here is one successful transfer. Oh my gosh. It's still in my soil. So gorgeous. The next plant that I'm going to be repotting is my Alocasia poly. I picked this up at Walmart, I'm gonna say about two weeks ago now. And it is so happy, it's putting out lots of new growth, but um, I can't, yeah, so as you can see right here, we have some leaves dying off and I can tell that it needs more space. It's definitely crunched in here, but also look at, do you see this? So this is one of the pods that I'm talking about and they just really start to choke out any new bulbs that are coming in um, or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead, I want the lighting to be super nice when I do this. I'm going to pull them out. Oh, 
here's a little bulb. Okay, so as you guys can see here, it's pretty bound up. And this one is a lot more wet, so like it's so much harder to just shake this excess soil out of these roots. But this guy, he's having some leaves die off, so I really want to try and get him repotted. So do you see this pod? You do not want that there. All right, so I'm just gonna take my pair of scissors and I'm going to carefully start cutting this mesh. And then pull it off the roots really carefully. Actually, these guys are gonna separate now. These two plants will, just because that mesh was, there's two, oh my gosh, you guys, look at, there's a mesh on this one. Okay, let's finish pulling this out. Oh, look at a bulb. Oh my gosh, for cool. Okay, I'm gonna set him right in here. So he has a baby coming out of him, and then there's another mesh here. Alright guys, so I'm troubleshooting content, and I kind of, um, I can probably put the, put the clip in, but it's gonna be sideways. I just wanted to have some content for my Instagram and TikTok as well, but um, I ended up getting the mesh off of this one, and it came off of this one. So that's something that's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, look at, there's another bulb. I just found two alocasia polybulbs down here. Okay, so this guy came off and he looks so good, so we're gonna set him here. Then I noticed that this one also has a mesh on it. So we're gonna try and cut this one out carefully as well. So we're just gonna go down the side and pull this mesh off really carefully. I think we're good so in the process I actually found two little bulbs I don't know if you guys can see but I'm gonna go ahead and plant these in with another one that I'm gonna be potting up so I'm just gonna probably start with this one on this side here and fill in with some dirt so he stands up a little bit That'll be a little bit easier to tuck this other guy in okay I'm gonna sneak him in now such a nice full plant. All right, he is looking good. Okay, so one of the perks of my job is that I get to do cleanup for all of the house plants and this little guy was just sitting on the shelf. What a nice bulb. He obviously needs some root work, but look at this leaf. I had to snag him. I was like, you guys, I'm gonna try and bring him home and rehab him. So I'm going to pot him into this pot that this one was previously in and put these bulbs in here as well. All right, so the next project is this ZZ plant. He was my very first ZZ plant, and I actually got him as a propagation. And he's potted in this terracotta wine cooler, which I think is so cute, um, and I absolutely love it. But he hasn't grown in about four months, which I know ZZ plants are super slow growing, but 
I think that the bulb is choked up in here. So we're gonna pull him out and see what he looks like. And see if he needs a repot. He's down here. So it doesn't look like it was too bad, but I'm probably still going to pot him into a different spot just because. Um, I have this Hoya compacted that I got in my plant swap last month and I thought it would be super cute in here. So we are going to do a little swap of the pots. This guy is also ready to be it up I think so we're just gonna go ahead and do that now I also think this will look super cute going in here all right so there is the Hoya compacta or a Hindu rope, and now I'm just going to go ahead and pop up this ZZ plant. Keep this. this little sign is so cute. soil I like to use this um, this is what I get locally it's called expert garden Phoenix. it just is really good and I've never had any bugs from it so I'm obsessed and then I like to mix in some perlite and if I have it cactus soil just to get some nice good nutrients. So then the next thing I'm going to do is just make sure these guys are watered super well. And we're done. There you go. Alright, that is going to be it for today's video. This was super fun. I'm so glad I finally got this all done. <laughs> I've just had plant chores that seem like they're piling up and I'm working so much that I'm hardly able to take care of my own plants. So this was great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Um, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or you need any help with your plants. I'd be more than happy, more than happy to give you guys some advice. And um, yeah, if you wanna follow me more places, don't forget to check out my Instagram. It's Haven's Houseplants. I'm also on TikTok now, Haven's Houseplants as well. I do lots of really fun stuff, lives, um, lots of stories, lots of reels, and a lot more plant updates. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.